So one thing I wanted to share is that I think of cover crops in a vegetable system as the entry level is winter rye. Everybody can start today with that. At the end of the season, you take your crops out, you put winter rye in. Um, but then as you get along with it, you want you might have different goals. You might not just want to do some organic matter. You might want to add some nutrients. And so that's where you can play with things where you might have a window where you're not plant, you're planting a warm season crop and there's nothing in that ground with vegetables before that. And you can play with things like field peas spring planted or um, overwintered hairy vetch or things that are going to add nutrients to that soil. And then there's other another window where you have crops that are coming out in the middle of summer. So whether it's onions or garlic or things like that. And on our farm, some of those acres go into a um, fall planted crop. But other of those acres, we have an opportunity um, to add another cover crop to those that ground. So it's taken me a long time to figure out how we're going to put um, cover crops into our um, crop rotation system. But the thing that I'm realizing is as it as i'm evolving this that we've kind of gotten through that entry level stage of just using winter rye we kind of got through this mid-level stage of adding some nutrients in different windows but i want to make sure that we're not leaving any ground fallow that has a three-month window and we played with things like buckwheat in that window or oats in that window um, but i think there's some other opportunities for millet or sudan grass or um, field peas or things like that. So I'm excited as I, you know, I've been farming for 12 years now and I feel like I've just scratched the surface of what I could do with cover crops. Um, and I'm energized to think about that. Um, I own this piece of ground now. My husband and I bought this farm together. Um, and what can I do to make sure that this ground is going to be sustainable for me in the future? Because we're landlocked. I mean, I, 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 ha I depend on this ground. I can't just go find another acre from a neighbor. Um, I have to be able to use this ground really well. And I think that with vegetable farming specifically, there's a lot of infrastructure involved. You can't just move to a new farm. You've got, you know, you got walking coolers, you've got all these things that kind of irrigation systems, things that kind of connect to it. And so the, our soil health is, um, really, really important and thinking about disease pressures and things like that. One thing that's different in vegetable farms than um, other systems is we cannot use any cover crop that has a brassica in it. Um, and that's because brassicas are a really intense part of our crop rotation system. And so um, it would add disease and other things. So it's kind of a little bit of a different system, but we that's one of the things that we can't do. Think about as a vegetable farmer that um, winter rye is a great entry cover crop, um, but think through your systems in terms of observe your crop rotation system. First of all, build a crop rotation system and then observe what are those windows where there's nothing in the ground and how can I fill those windows? And then, but most importantly, what are your goals? And the, the, there's a lot of options that cover crops can fulfill. And if you are a, uh, especially a crop farmer that doesn't have access to livestock to help you build your soil, cover crops can be a way to utilize um, some of those soil building mechanisms without access to livestock. Um, so even if you are, um, even in the beginning stages of a farm, I think as a beginning farmer, it's really important to think about how can cover crops fit into your system um, because and talk to other farmers because you, it's it's really hard to figure out by yourself. It's really about one of those things where you look at other farms, what are they doing? How can we build this together? And um, there's a lot of great resources out there, but the biggest thing is how can, what are your goals? How can this work on your farm? And what are you trying to do? And so for us, it's building organic matter and nutrients. And we're looking at when, what are those open windows that we can be adding additional um, seeds to the soil to be able to um, give back to our soil so that it can continue to help us grow really good crops.